Hello, hello, and welcome back to Quirky Seeker. Yes, I know, it's not winter anymore, is it? But I still wanted to share this video with you guys because I thought it might be cool to see what I've been wearing and maybe get inspired. And because it's the first time I've ever used a capsule wardrobe. Now, I have been using what I think a lot of us online would consider a minimal wardrobe for a number of years. It's been under 100 pieces total um, for a year-round wardrobe, but I thought it would be fun to try and do it by season, to put away all the clothes that I'm not wearing, aka like a bathing suit since it's winter, to only keep out what I'm really truly going to wear. So I also really wanted to share this with you guys because it is imperfect. I struggle a lot with either doing something full on, all out, the best that it possibly can be, or not doing it at all. So to have made it through this winter fully clothed with a wardrobe less than ideal, it was a true accomplishment for me. So here are all the clothes that I've kept out. Here are my hanging clothes. And down below you're gonna see some tank tops, some underwear, in that white bin are socks, some of which I share with Nate. We've also got hats, gloves, a bandana, and I think that's all my shoes. So let's dive in piece by piece. Here we go. I have four t-shirts. This is my tight-fitting black long sleeve t-shirt my loose-fitting black long-sleeve t-shirt, and my shrunken up wool sweater in, you guessed it, black. This is my pale blue button-up with a collar. Oh God, I don't know how to describe clothes. And this is my oversized old lady sweater with gigantic pockets, so cozy. On this hanger, we have two pairs of leggings that I wear under dresses or around the house. This hanger has a pair of like swishy sport pants that I like to wear in the winter, back from my ice hockey days. And this is a pair of tights. Long gray skirt, long green skirt, big long black skirt. This is a tight fitting spaghetti strap black dress that's perfect for layering. A three-quarter length black dress, a little looser, also good for layering in the winter. A really cute hooded black dress that Nate picked out for me from Thread for Thought. I like to keep available my light black jacket for those warmer days, but usually you can find me wearing this military style green wool jacket. Keeps me nice and toasty warm. Here you see me wearing my nighty. This is what I wear to bed every night, this little black dress. It's 100% cotton and I got it off everlane.com. It even has this really cute little pocket. All right, on to the clothes. So I mentioned this was a layering piece. It is also 100% cotton. I got this one from People Tree and I highly, highly recommend. And here comes the three-quarter length sleeve over top. I like to wear both of these around the house or out on running errands with like leggings underneath or sweaters and stuff layered on top. Just really versatile. And this really cute hooded dress. I get the most compliments on this dress of any item in my wardrobe. And I'm always like, I guess I just don't know anything about style. Nate picked this dress out for me. Nate picks out everything in my wardrobe that's cute. And this one's also really good with leggings under it too. So here we've got that dress I showed earlier, but with the long gray skirt over top of it. If you like this skirt, you can also thank Nate. He picked it out too. Thanks, Nate. And this green skirt, I'm really loving green lately. And this one has pockets, so what's not to love? This is my black skirt. I wear this one in all seasons. It's 100% cotton, but unfortunately, I got it from H&M. Don't you just love to twirl? Any girls out there love to twirl? So fun. Pockets. 
Here it is with my bison t-shirt. I'll link it down below. And of course, can you live in Cleveland without a Cleveland Clothing Company shirt? Here's another shirt from that same artist, Sam Larson. And my Epic Provisions Meat Cast t-shirt. It's like bacon for your ears. I'll link that down below too. Here is that item of clothing I cannot describe once again. Is it called a chambray? I don't even, is that how it's at least spelled? Somebody tell me down below in the comments. Here's that grandma sweater. I don't know why, but I hate the collar on this, but I love the pocket, so I can't get rid of it. My tight long sleeve black shirt, which I really love. I think it goes really well with these high-waisted skirts. And I think I want to get more of this style for next winter. This one's looser and it's definitely got a cozy vibe, but it's not ideal because it's pretty thin and therefore not very warm. This one is super warm. It's wool, um, but it's also shrunken up. Like it barely tucks into my skirt and I've got the sleeves rolled up to hide the fact that they're short. Fun fact, I used to work for Starbucks. I was gifted this jacket from a friend who I worked with who had worked there for far longer than I did. And I still like to wear this jacket even though I no longer work for Starbucks and the Starbucks logo is pretty much faded right off of it. It's just a nice plain jacket with a story behind it. This coat though. I feel kind of like an evil villain when I wear this coat and I love it. Has to be one of the best thrift store finds ever. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. I hope you found some inspiration for your own capsule wardrobe, or perhaps to minimize the wardrobe that you have, and most of all, to stop trying to be perfect, but just let good enough be good enough. I'm really grateful for this wardrobe, and I'm really grateful for this channel and all of you guys. So thanks for being here. And if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely leave me some encouragement down below, cause you know, I can be kind of a slacker. Later haters.